episode 233, we discussed the blessing one recites before eating Laham Ra'ajin. And we quoted from the book Birkot Shamayim, which was written in Halab at the end of the 19th century by Hakam Yosef Sitehon. And we also quoted from the book Peri Sadiq, which was written by Hakam Shaul Qasin, who was born in Halab in the year 1864 and who passed away in Jerusalem in the year 1917. Both books also discuss which blessing is recited before eating mahshi and yebra. Mahshi is a vegetable, like an eggplant or squash, that is stuffed with a mixture of meat and rice. In Chuhar Aruch, Maran wrote, based on the Gemara, that when a food is comprised of a combination or a mixture of more than one food, that the blessing is recited on the main food in the mixture. In many cases, but not in all cases, the food which is the majority of the mixture is considered the main food. In Hakam Yosef Sitehon's description of Mahshi and Yebra, he wrote that there is more meat than rice, but still in all he wrote that the main part of the food is the vegetable that holds the meat and rice together. And therefore, in his opinion, one should recite the blessing of Bode Periha Adama before eating Mahshi. Similarly, he wrote that one should recite Bode Periha Adama on Yebra, which is grape leaves rolled around a meat and rice mixture. He explained that even though grape leaves grow on a vine and the fruit from the vine, namely grapes, is bore prihayets, the leaves do not have the same status as the fruit and therefore the blessing on grape leaves is bore prihadama. He also considered the grape leaves that are holding the meat and rice mixture together to be the main part of the food. So in his opinion, one also recites bore prihadama before eating yebra. And according to Hakam Yosef Sitehon, one also recites Bore Priha Adama before eating Mahshi or Yebra that was stuffed with rice and chickpeas and which is usually cooked with butter. However, Hakam Shaul Qasin disagreed and wrote that the main part of the Mahshi or Yebra is the inside part. According to Hakam Shaul, if the majority of the meat and rice mixture is the meat, then you say Shahakol. But if the majority of the meat and rice mixture is the rice, then you say Mizonot. Furthermore, Hakam Shaul did not agree that the blessing on grape leaves is bore priha adama. He explained that since grape leaves are not eaten by themselves, but only as part of a dish that has other foods, therefore, in his opinion, the blessing on grape leaves is shehakol. So according to Hakam Yosef Sitehon, the blessing on Mahshi and Yabra is bore priha adama. But according to Hakam Shaul Qasin, the blessing goes according to the majority of what's inside. And if one is not sure what the majority of the inside is, then you say shehakol. Hakam Yosef Sittihon also added that if one did say shehakol or mizonot or mahshi or yabra, that they fulfilled their obligation and they should not recite another blessing. Hakam Yosef Sittihon also added that if you eat the outer vegetable and the inner meat and rice mixture separately, then you recite two blessings, ha'adama on the vegetable and shakol on the meat and rice mixture. So with regards to the blessing on Mahshi and Yabra, there is no universally accepted custom. There's a difference of opinion as to what the main part of the food is, and therefore one fulfills their obligation, whether they said ha'adama or shahakol when the majority of the inside part is the meat, or mizonot when the majority of the inside part is the rice.